Stephen, you were in exactly the same situation as mm. a 21-year-old. Can you remember what it was like at this stage back then? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's just, everything's exciting, but I mean, we've known for a long time how talented he's been, but it's only really won the China Open, and now that he's really, I mean, he's playing now with the composure, like he's been there for years at the business end of tournaments, mm. but he's, you know, he, he seems to have come from nowhere almost. Well, he's certainly been around for a long number of years. Might he be on the verge of a place in the Crucible final? Hang on to your hats. Yes, hang on to your hats, hang on to your seats. Ding has got a half chance, and you could only call it a half chance at this stage. He's got a gap around the back of the black. This already a big shot, and it's only his first. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant pot there. Totally committed. Didn't play it as a shot to nothing. Black not in its spot. So, slightly more missable. Eight. Well, both these players have, sure. as we see, have served their apprenticeships in the game now. I'm sure it's not the last time these two will be locking horns at the Crucible. I think they both deserve a place in the final. Only one, though. Who's it going to be? Nine. Uh, the pink obviously goes into the corner. As you can clearly see, I mean, the match has been unbelievable. It's deserving of a final frame shootout, but will we have that? The pack is tightly bunched as it's been for a while couple of reds poking their nose out into various pockets. Thank you. Fifteen. Yeah, you can't really go into the bunch from the black because of where the pink is now situated. All the spots were occupied there. So in a couple of shots time, he needs to get himself up onto the blue and then go into that bunch of reds. Steve said there's two reds available, one to either corner pocket. <coughs> this time he may play down for the blue. 20, it depends on the angle he has on this red. Just checking to see if the the pink would pot, but that would be another way of opening the reds, but it looks pretty tight. He hasn't changed his demeanor at all in this session. Fantastic temperament. Oh, he got a kick, an awful kick. Destroyed the screw back on the cue ball. Probably chalk. There's one shot he can get on the red if he can screw in between the yellow and brown. Oh, he's caught the brown and that spoiled the position. He would have been on that red for the right corner. 29. So it's just a safety shot. If he misses the brown, He'll drop on that red. Well, so often a, a kick. Twenty-nine. Decent, decent safety shot. <laughs> I'm 
so often a kick means you, you miss the pot, but it can still play a massive part in a frame. Twenty nine points, not really enough to cause Judd Trump any real problems. Poor safety shot. And he has left Ding a tempter. And also a one round the back of the black as well. The long one or the, the thin one? Yeah, he's got the long one, or he could clip that one in and play it as a shot to nothing. It just depends how he feels. I think he's such a good long potter. He's looking at the one Steve said. And it's the one he's going to take on. This is an important shot. Now, how are they going to finish here? There was a lot of pressure on Ding for that shot. I thought he may have tried to clip the one in as a shot to nothing, but he's such an attacking player. But under these circumstances, he didn't get that close. So Judd Trump has a chance. Not as he played it. He's on it. Yeah, he played up past the green to leave the yellow. It was much easier to get up to the reds from the yellow and just a little bit of tension here as the white hit the cushion. It just died a bit, didn't it? Yeah, it caught the green. Wants to be on a red into the opposite middle. It looks nice enough and you can pop this red into the middle. Five. Screw down for the black. Ten to times. Six. Well, he's took the chance to open the reds, and he's opened them beautifully. And he's got a red to the middle. 13. And if the pink also goes, he's having a look now to see if the pink passes the black. If not, he'll have to drop on the black. Well, it's nail biting time, and his friend just doesn't want to watch this. All about pace, this shot. 14. Has he got enough? That's good enough. <laughs> Ding Junhui must be fearing the worst. He's done everything he possibly could. It's now down to Judd Trump. And that's okay. 21. He would be the second youngest finalist ever at 21 years of age. He's got quite a few balls to 22. pop, but the chances there, if this young player can hold himself together, what an achievement this would be. Delicate little run through there, making sure he wasn't hampered by the red. A forced stun shot straight up the table, give him choices, The scores are level. He needs five reds. 13. Six reds, sorry. Well, I watched him in China on television when he beat Mark Selby and he held himself together there, but this is the big one. As Cliff Thorburn said, this is the daddy of them all, the world championship. He's finished a little straightish on the black. I think he got another bad contact. That little shake of the head tells you that 
He got a slight kick there. And he's, you can see both the red and the white jumping there, which means a slight change of plan for his next positional shot. And he's played that beautifully. Well, it's come up a little bit short. All of a sudden, it pulled up a little short. And the blue's not there 45. because the red's slightly awkward. Might be able to get on the blue, but... He's played it beautifully. He's on the blue. That is a terrific shot. Absolutely judged to perfection. Once again, he's one good positional shot away, and now it's replacing the final. Roll the blue in, roll the red in, get an angle on the blue with a possibility, should he so wish, to shift the reds. But do they go? If one of them pots, he doesn't have to. He's just checking. Do they both go? Just... 10 hours for the superb semi-final. Well, our camera shows you there that one of them will pot. The right hand one is tight. Let's see which one he plays for. It's got to be the middle of the three reds. That is the one he's looking again. He's pointed his cue there three or four times. Can he get the white where he was pointing his cue? He did it too far, has he? Oh, I don't know. Doesn't look like he has, he's okay. Thought he had. This is match ball. <laughs> well, what an effort this is. One of the best semi-finals I've seen for many a year. Both players have been superb. It's a shame that one of these players has 64. to leave this year's world championship because they've given him something very special he's not quite there yet but 35 ahead he only needs the red and any color ding knows that well judd just smiling there that's excitement adrenaline but you're not quite there yet judd With a French fist, he's one of the most modest lads you could ever wish to meet. But what a time for this young player! What an absolutely brilliant performance! Well, Steve, it's been a pleasure sitting in the commentary box commentating on these two young superstars. They have put on a regal performance here. And it's hard to describe how Judd Trump must be feeling inside at the moment. 21 years of age, and he's going to contest the final of this year's World Championship. You've got to feel sorry for Ding John Wei. He really has made this an unbelievable match. And you will be seeing him here many more times. But at the moment, the stage belongs to this 21-year-old potting machine. He's already gained an army of fans this year at the World Championship. And there'll be a lot tuning in to watch this young player. He can't stop from smiling and you can't blame him. Well, he wants to pop the black as well. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well done, Judd Trump. In fact, well done to both players. They have given us a superb semi-final, and they deserve the standing ovation that they're getting. It was an incredible semi-final. I've enjoyed every minute of it. And Judd Trump gets through to the final. 17 frames to 15.